Okay, so in this problem, we're told a person standing a certain distance from an airplane with four equally noisy jet engines is experiencing a sound level of 130 decibels. What sound level would this person experience if the captain shut down all but one engine? So the way you want to imagine this is we have two scenarios. One scenario with four jet engines uh, going, and then in the second scenario, we only have the one jet engine going. And so what we're trying to find is the sound level beta, we'll call it B2, uh, for just this one jet engine going. And so we're given that four of the jet engines, right, imagining they're the same as this one, uh, if they all go at once, the sound level is equal to 130 decibels. So we're given four, uh, create a sound level of 130, and we're trying to find the sound level if just one of them is going. So the way we're going to do this is by using uh, the formula for the sound level. So beta is the sound level. Uh, we'll call it B1, right? So the sound level for this scenario, 1, is uh, 10 log I1, right? So the intensity of scenario 1 divided by I0. I0 is just the minimum audible intensity. Uh, it's just the constant value. So the value that is generally used, I'll just write it down here. I0 is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared. So this is what that constant is. You don't really need to know it for this problem, but it's just good to know in general. So that's the formula for the sound level of scenario one. For scenario two, B2, which is what we're trying to find, is 10 log of I2 over I0. And so notice we don't know the intensity I1 and I2. So the way we're going to do this is basically by canceling them or getting them in a ratio and we'll be able to determine the ratio on the information given. You'll see that in a second. Uh, but let's talk about how we're going to do that. So the way we're going to do it is by taking B2 and minusing B1. And then we're just going to set this equal to their uh, respective equations minus each other. So 10 log of I2 over I0. And then we just minus B1, right? Because this is B2. And then we're going to minus B1. So 10 log of I1 over I0. Cool. So now what we're going to do is combine these, uh, these two log terms together. The way we're going to do that is you should know the log of X minus the log of Y is equal to the log of X over Y. So what we can do is combine these two. Uh, the way we're going to do it first is by factoring out the 10. So you'll have beta 2 minus beta 1 equals 10. And then we're going to combine these two log terms here. So if we have x, right, let's just assume this one is x. This is y. You will have i2 over i0 divided by i1 over i0. And so what we can do here is copy dot flip. So i2 over i0 times, and then we just flip this one here. So times i0 over i1. So notice here your i0s are going to cancel when you multiply across and you have I2 over I1. So what you can do is rewrite this as 10 log, and then our X over Y was just I2 over I1. And so if we want to solve for B2, it's going to be equal to B1. All I'm doing is moving it to the other, uh, the other side, times the 10 times the log of I2 over I1. Now, what is I2 over I1? That's what we're going to discuss now. So there are the intensities of, I2 is the intensity of scenario two. Uh, this would be I1. And so the way it works is if you have four objects creating sound right here and only one here, assuming that they're producing uh, the same sound, right? Same loudness. Uh, basically the intensity of this one would be four times this one. So if we just assumed I2 was one, then this would be four. So you can kind of imagine it just by the number of things, assuming that they're the same. So the intensity of I1 is 4, uh, the intensity of I2 is 1. Therefore, I2 over I2 over I1, which we need right, to plug in down here, is just 1 over 4. Right? We can pick any numbers, right? assuming this was 2. Uh, for one of these, there's four of them, so it would be 8, right? which is 2 over 8, which is still just 1 over 4. So basically, we just select 1 to make, uh, make it easier. So really, this is equal to the sound level of scenario one, which they tell us is 130, 
plus 10 multiplied by the log of i2 over i1, which we just decided was 1 over 4. So let's go ahead and plug this in. 130 plus 10 multiplied by the log of 1 over 4. So B2 equals 123.979. And so I can round this. I'm just going to say 124. So 124 units for uh, sound level are decibels. So notice here uh, you have uh, you have 130 decibels, and this one's 124. So by removing these threes, uh, these three decibels, you'll only go down six decibels there. So if the intensity is four times, you go down six. And the general uh, way to know this is if the intensity is doubled, right? So if the intensity is doubled, the sound will increase by three decibels. And so in this case, we went up uh, four, or the intensity was multiplied by four, right? And we know doubling it is three. So it would really just be, right, twice the doubled intensity of, or twice the doubled intensity, which we know is three, two times three is six. So since we quadrupled it, it would go up six, right? Because if you go up two, you go up three, if you go up four, you go up six, right? So you can kind of see that there. It's a cool trick to know. So since we multiplied by four, it would go down by six, or up by six. Well, I guess in our scenario, we removed it, so it went down by six since we removed three of those. Uh, but yeah, so 124 decibels, that's going to be your answer. Uh, just a quick rundown of how we did it. We just used the log formulas, and then we just got the ratio. So uh, we had to combine them, obviously, using this trick with the logs. But once we did that, it was just a matter of solving for B2 and then understanding the intensity ratio part. Uh, but yeah, so 124 decibels, that's going to go ahead and be your answer to this problem. And uh, hopefully you found this video useful.